Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you an updated detailed version of how I got the wet look. Now I did a video about 11 months ago and for some reason it's just gained some traction and I'm getting a lot of requests to do this video basically because I didn't show the two products applied together. I only showed you one product which was what I used for the leave-in which was the S curl gel and then to get the wet look I layered it with the eco styler but I didn't show you that on camera because I done it before I went to bed and <laughs> that was it you know when you get an impulse and you just need to do something but then I had to come on camera and show you because it was just such an amazing find so now I'm just going to show you in detail and just bear it in mind guys it is a wet look so if my hair does look flat or bland or limp or whatever you want to call it I don't care <laughs> it's a wet look that's how my hair is meant to look okay there are things I can use for my hair to make it nice and bouncy and poofy and curly but this is specifically a wet look so now I'm just going to jump straight into it I've washed my hair as you can see but I've parted my hair into the style that I want to have it for this wet look I mean if you do want to know about the product that I use and I'll put that link in the description because I do talk more about the s curl gel but I'm not doing any talking today guys this is just a video to show you how to apply the products and I'm going to be applying them together. I'm not going to apply them once my hair is dried and then apply the gel. I'm just going to apply it together and then style it. And then I'm going to let it dry. Come back to you once it's dry. And then again, you can see that this magic works. Okay. All right, guys. So just carry on watching.
Okay guys, so that's the first part. And I said I'm not gonna be talking, but seeing as some of you guys were confused last time, I thought, let me just quickly explain each step. As you can see, I've now applied the S curl gel. Rather than letting that dry, because my hair will be going big and puffy, but also it will be sticky. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use it as a leave-in like I did last time. The reason why I've moved on to this side before gelling this side is because I want this side to soak in before I start, you know, manipulating that. So, as I said, I'm going to now apply the gel. So the S curl gel is my leave-in. And then the Eco Styler is the styler. So I'm gonna now apply the styler. I'm gonna put this to the side for a minute. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So my hair is laid, curly. I've clumped it together because I don't want my hair to separate. The more it separates, the more it frizzes up and the more volume it gets. You want your hair to be laid and wet looking. So this is what I've got so far. I'm gonna do this side on camera and do the rest off. Just because I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I think, personally. And my hair doesn't really need to be detangled too much. Reason being that it doesn't need to be detangled too much because the S-Curl gel smooths it down already. So I've got a nice base to work with. Hence why I use it as the leave-in.
okay so this is what i've got so far guys right so as i said i'm going to do the rest off camera this is how my hair will dry so it will dry stretched it might shrink up a little bit because it is wet but the overall look will look wet <laughs> so i'm gonna go as i said do the rest off camera and i will come back to you when my hair is completely coated and then say i will come back to you once my hair is dried so let me quickly show you the back my hair is looking a little short to you guys it's because i trimmed an inch and a half So I will come back to you in a minute. Stage. Hey guys, so now the application is finished. I've done it in this style, just because this is the original wet look style from, what is it, the 80s? I haven't got any clips holding it in. I might put some hairpins just to hold these parts in place. But other than that, I think it might stay. So let me just quickly show you the back. And this is obviously how my hair is gonna dry. And this is the look we're going for, because it's sleek, it's chic, it's lovely. Now I will say guys, if you don't like wet hair or hair touching you whilst it's wet, if you're not used to having gel in your hair, then guys, I'm gonna say this ain't really for you because it's a wet look. So your hair's gonna feel wet while it's drying. And then once it's dried, it's gonna look wet. <laughs> but uh, I don't mind it. I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry because it will take as long as it takes. And I will tell you how long it took. Guys, this is it for now. I'm laying my edges and I'm just gonna let my hair dry. I've also decided not to diffuse it because I don't want any volume. I want my hair to just air dry in the position that it is in. In regards to using other gels other than Eco Styler, guys, this is the only gel that I've tried with the S-Curl gel, so I can't give you any answers on that. Other gels may work, other gels may not, I don't know, but I do know the Eco Styler works for this one. All right, guys, I will be back and show you the dried end results. <laughs> I am back now with my complete final wet look these are the results my hair is completely dry it's just smooth anyway my hair is completely dry not sticky not tacky not wet and you can tell my hair is dry because i posted the picture on instagram where my hair was wet when it was styled like this and it had a hang to it now it's dried it shrunk and it's more poofy let's say so i'll just quickly show you the side and then the back So I feel like this side's shrunken up more because I've got more of my hair going over to that side, but. Okay, so what I will say guys, it worked a treat. Now, in regards to the gel, as you saw, I used the Crystal Eco Styler and I did have to go, once my hair dried, I did have to go back in and apply a little bit more because my hair started to frizz up. Now, I do believe that the best gel for this, because I have done this more than one occasion, the best gel that I've ever used for this wet look and to keep this hold and to get this wet look and definition is the Eco Styler Olive Oil, the number 10 green. That for me, for my hair personally, that is the strongest one with the best hold. Now, I don't like to use the Eco Styler Olive Oil by itself because it's so thick. It makes my hair very stringy and very crunchy. So that's it, guys. My look. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope this made more sense to you. I mean, as I said, some people got the last video, some people didn't, but I've tried to detail this one as much as possible. If you do have any more comments and questions or what have you, you can leave them down below in the comment section and I will try my best to get back to you. Yes, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.